Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're doing okay. So, we're in a brand new saved game. Unfortunately, my last saved game got horribly corrupted, I don't know how. And none of the rooms were showing. So, we're here. Brand new series. Please comment down below if you have any suggestions of what you want to see in this series. If you want to see any departments come about before other ones. I have got the two modded departments of oncology and sexual health department and there's two other mods that i also want to have a look at today so one is the fire protection objects which is quite cool so that is basically it's like fire extinguishers fire axe fire alarm and there's also this new one, waiting room objects there's brochures and i think there's all sort of bits and bobs that you can pop in your waiting room so really excited to use those if you haven't checked her out, please go and check out Plastic Swans. Her YouTube channel is awesome and she's just released a Project Hospital video where she really thinks about how she organises her hospital. She works in the construction industry and you can tell she's got so much knowledge around that area. And I'm going to do some, well, I've got no knowledge of that area, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to really think about the layout of this hospital, really think about what we're doing, think about moving patients around quickly, um, so check out her channel. I'll link the video down below, but please go and check it out It's a really really interesting video and a really interesting take on how to play the game So we're here 94 by 94 squares. I've done this one. I can't remember if this is the one we done last time I think we had the ambulances here, didn't we? So a little bit of a different layout Let's crack on. Okay, so thinking of layouts Every single time I do this I do a square with a brick wall on the outside That's it so let's change this up. Let's do something different. Why don't we do... See, I like this one with the brick on the bottom, but I just, I don't, oh. It helps if you do foundations. It helps. Right, so what does this look like? Oh, that's quite nice. That's quite hospitally, actually. It looks quite depressing, doesn't it? Okay, right, so now we've got the wall that we know we're gonna do. Let's spend a little bit of time planning this out. Our last hospital, the reception was quite small. That is quite a crowded entrance. We're definitely going to want space up here for our emergency trauma centre because that's where the ambulances drop those patients off. So we definitely want to keep this area free for that. And I mean, it'd be good to get the main entrance opposite this zebra crossing just here. So if we do that, and then we'll make sure that that's all done. Right, so if we're saying that our wall is going to be, not our wall, our main door. Can't speak. That's not done what I wanted it to do. Great. Oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Right, you go there. You go there. Okay, wow, that was interesting. Right, so we want a sliding double door, and we're going to get that in there. Let's join up this pavement to this main road, like so. Right, so we're going to want quite a nice, not large, but it's going to be a fairly large reception. That's what I want it to be anyway. And I'm actually tempted to have all of our doctor's offices for every department actually downstairs. We'll see how that goes. So we might actually have a second floor earlier than normal, and that's where we could start to think about our radiology or you know something like that. I really don't like how I've actually started this. I'm not giving myself, I'm spending lots of money. In this series, because I want us to focus on layout, I might have to spend a little bit of time in between episodes, actually in the game, just getting money. Um, so I'll let you know when I do that, but it's just an FYI. Okay, so this is our basic square that we're going with for the moment. I also want to get like a little garden in the middle and maybe like some bridge spaces on the upper floors going between buildings. I thought that'd be quite cool. So our trauma centre could be in an actual different building. I quite like that idea anyway. Right, so let's start to think about our reception. Like I said, I want this to be fairly large. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy, but so if we go one two three four five away from the door two three four five that's quite a nice little 
gap there because we also want to think about elevators that's also something i always forget is having rooms for elevators so what about if we went up to there let's just join all that up and we say that that's going to be our reception at the moment at least for emergency and then maybe expand this in the future we're giving them space for elevators and they are four by four one two yeah four by four unfortunately the elevator plan has to be five by four no can it be oh it can be four by four so i'm just lying to you right so let's get rid of that and let's say that we're gonna have elevators I mean, i'd quite like at least one in here so how long is this 14 so if we go one two three four five six seven uh, let's do that let's do that and we're going to want this to be there oh that does not no no that doesn't work okay so one one two three four five six there five there five there have it that is in the middle it doesn't look like in the middle but that is in the middle so we're definitely going to have an elevator there. Now that gives us this room at the side to so actually think about reception desks. And we're obviously going to want doors coming from here then out into our main hospital. So we start off with something like that. Well, you know, you can go either side out into main hospital. We're going to get the stickers everywhere to see where to go as well because that looks awesome most of the time. So let's also think about some windows. Let's let's add some windows there and then let's have some tall windows with the blind so that gives us a little bit of natural light and then we actually need to think about the actual reception so let's zone it in first and you normally have toilets in our reception as well don't you so maybe we could think about a restroom maybe down here or at least some toilets immediately after the reception so flooring what should we do for flooring why don't we try this one i know i use this quite a lot but it works really well in these very basic square rooms when you get into the more tricky rooms with little corners and stuff it's a bit of a nuisance to use but it should be fine in here as we're going to get out the reception desk now what i thought is if we go like that so it's not gonna be massive if we get rid of that last one actually then we'll have that corner bit then we can get in the computer and the printer then behind this reception desk we can get some card files all those kind of bits and bobs so let's also get a cabinet a bit on top and maybe a water dispenser now here we get lots of brochures, I don't know why I said that so strangely, but we get something on like these covers, let's get a little cactus there, then maybe we get some files. Now let's have a look at some of these new objects, we've got oh, like a router, that's such a good idea, because you probably would have that in a reception. TV wall, again you'd probably have that, we'll, we'll see what that's like. Um, escape and rescue plan you probably have that near the door at least one copy of it wouldn't you then like the notice board yeah we can get that in somewhere fire extinguisher you probably would have one there and let's just get oh we've got some files there already well, let's get a fire alarm as well because you probably would also have a fire alarm for the receptionist to use if they needed to um, so that's probably enough so in the actual reception area I just wanted to get a few chairs. I don't want to go crazy with the chairs because they're not really heavily used a lot. So maybe we'll just go for some chairs over there. And we'll just pop in like one little table with some brochures on it. That's some cool objects there. We'll get out some posters. Let's get out... Um, sure. And then maybe a notice board. How does that look? Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. That looks good. And then we'll have an elevator there. I think we do have space here for a loo. I think a toilet would be a really good addition here. So let's go out and we'll say that that 
Six should be plenty big enough. Get a nice little white door there. Then we'll get out some tiles. We'll change this floor so this line now comes up there. Okay, so that's going to be a restroom. Missing equipment, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So let's get the WC door in like that nice green colour. And we'll get the cubicles. Is that three? I think that's going to be plenty. I think that'll be plenty for the start. We'll change the room kind of paint, wallpaper, whatever you'd like to call it as well. In there we're going to want some WCs and I will remove that window because that's probably not a great place for a window is it? You don't really want someone there looking at you when you're going for a, a number one or number two, you know, who knows, who knows? Right, hand dryers, we'll get a like, plastic hamper, we'll get a trash bin underneath there and then we'll just get like a, a plant in the corner maybe. And we'll get like an info poster because it'll be like a, you know, like wash your hands. Um, would you have a fire extinguisher in here? I don't know. We'll put a fire extinguisher in, that's probably it. It's probably also worth getting a clock somewhere. Okay, awesome. So let's have a little restroom. Okay, this is nice. I'm actually going to get in the lift now. Only so we don't forget and we can kind of work around it then. So there goes the lift and then our walls here. Was it the double line? Sure was. So let's get that in. And then we're going to do the floor to be like that. And then the actual bit in the middle can be there. There we go. Because I actually do think we're going to want to get radiology or something quite early on. So that's a good start. That's the reception done. Now I need to think about our emergency clinic. So let's say you're going to come out of there and then I'd like to get some rooms down here. So if we said that this corridor is going to be, I quite like this one. You get this one in, in hospitals quite a lot, you know, that bit of wood in the middle, like normally like a rear railing or something. So let's get that out and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go six. I think I'm going to go six by five. What's that wallpaper like? That's quite nice. Let's go with that. And then let's go with... Because you probably... You wouldn't have a door with a window, would you? If anything, you probably have to do like that. And then you might have like an exam table in the corner with like a privacy screen around it. So let's go with that. And then we're going to get a window. Let's get a different window this time. So let's get two windows and then in here we're going to have this as a doctor's office so we're going to have the exam table so let's have that maybe over here but we'll put in the privacy screen so let's get that out oh it doesn't like it okay what about if we went there and then we had it yeah okay so let's have that there because you don't want everyone seeing your bits, do you? Let's get our desk. So we'll get the desk. Get that there, and then he can look out the... He or she, or she, can look out the window when they're diagnosing our lovely patients. We'll go printer. Then we'll get disinfectant. And we're going to get both bins, because again, you'd probably have both bins. Because you'd have one for... I think yellow is hazardous waste. And red is sharps. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably am wrong. I'm normally wrong. So let's get out a few of these equipment cabinets. Need an eye test. So actually, I'd quite like that space there to be a chair for our person to divulge all of their sins to us. And then we need a medical light for our exam bed. Then let's get CRP scan over there. And we'll get the audio meter over there next to the eye test oh yeah let's get a white we've got to get a whiteboard haven't we i mean we need a whiteboard oxygen tank oh yeah that, that looks good there actually and then i thought we could get something in terms of like files that's actually too big 
Okay, or well maybe we'll get a diploma. I hope our doctors have diplomas anyway. It'd be a bit worrying if they don't. We'll get a clock. And um, we'd probably have a fire alarm. And then we'll just get some posters out. So let's do tennis elbow. Maybe skull. Yeah, I think I think that's perfect. I like that a lot. Right, so in terms of floor, I'm not actually too sure. Is that just white? Um, actually, I don't mind that. That's actually pretty realistic, really, isn't it? You know, normally have a pretty simple floor. Okay, that's our first room. And now we need to come into here and say that this is a waiting room. I'd like all of this bit here to be the waiting room and just have doctor's offices up there. We're going to want these to be numbered. So let's find the well, have room number one, like that. And on this left hand side, we need a doctor's office, like that. What do we need in here? So let's have, can we have zero? Oh, let's get zero there, because obviously floor zero. We're going to need corridor. Where's the little bell for reception? Little bell for reception. Oh, oh, I mean, we'll get it in, but it's a bit pointless, really. And then we definitely need one for the restroom. So let's get that. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that worked. Did that work? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So that's perfect. And then our waiting room. What floor? Unless we go with this. Let's go with this for the moment. I'll oh, see it. And it does that. Let's maybe do, we'll stay with that and then we'll change it, you know, when we come around to it. So, waiting room. Let's go with, do I like white benches or light? Let's go light blue chairs. Something a bit different. I'm going to go with this kind of layout because then we can get in some coffee tables. And then on these, we can get like brochures. Um, what else would you have on a coffee table? Ooh, I mean, I hope you wouldn't have files. Just get a flower. And then you would definitely have like an axe fire hose. Get like an escape plan for there with a fire alarm. You'd also have some posters. So let's get out some posters. But I'd like to save a little bit of room for some windows. Let's get a window there and there. And maybe we'll get one more window there with a blind. Okay, lovely, lovely. Now in the waiting room you'd probably also get coffee machines, but I'm just deciding, do I want to have a tall bit of glass in between this? I think I'm, I mean it's a bit weird, but I think I might. So what about, what's this look like if we done that? I'm going to get that stupid bell. And that. That look, I quite like that. I know it's a bit different. Let's get rid of that fire alarm. And then I'll get one more. I quite like that. Okay, it's just going to get a little bit of light to these areas. Now I don't want to copy these rooms, so what I'm going to do is I will just, yeah, I'm not going to prefab it. What I'll do is let's go with this one and we're going to do five by six, aren't we, with that wall, like so. Then we have that door, so let's do that one there. Flooring, we're going with just a white floor, a standard white floor. Okay, and I'm going to kit this doctor's office out. Okay, so that's another doc's office done. Let's think about getting like, some vending machines out. So let's go coffee vending machine. This is like a snacks machine. So let's get that out. We'll get a water dispenser as well. Then it'd be good to get out some plants. So let's get out get like a little plant there. Yeah, get like a little plant there. Then we can do more as we go on. Okay, so that's our basic emergency clinic. What else do we need? 
So we've got a res oh miss oh missing staff. Okay, yeah. So we can do that. Missing equipment. Oh, we never put in a um, a chair, did we? You good now? Yeah, you're all good. So we've got a reception. Got the doctor's office. Got a waiting room. So now we need a common room and a cleaning closet, ideally. So let's get staff in first. So our first doctor. I really want to take a little bit more care with this. The only thing is is I'd like to look at these perks. Let's have a look at all of the perks. So you've got 20% bonus experience to diagnosis skill. Okay. You're pretty good though. So let's get in Susan Cole. Who else have we got here? You are unpleasant. That's not very good. And then Judy looks pretty good. Let's get in Judy as well. And then receptionist. Again, we'll reveal those hidden perks. Okay, so we haven't got anyone that's perfect, really. Spends twice as much. Depressed. Dirty feet. Well, we should probably get the dirty feet. Because that shouldn't hurt us too much at all. Okay, hospital now accepts patients. Lovely. Now we can start to think about a cleaning closet and a common room. So you'd probably have those bits and bobs in a bit more of a secluded area, wouldn't you? What about if we extended our little hospital down here? We had like a little corridor there. Can I go out to there? I don't, I don't think I can. So if we went out to there with that wall like so for the moment we'll go with oh i don't know let's pick something like that maybe in blue no because that's what we've already done Let, well, let's do that let's keep that corridor kind of theme so if we done that can we get a cleaning closet and a common room down here so cleaning closet would probably it would be like quite bricky, wouldn't it? Like maybe like well, let's just go the corridor. We're gonna go the corridor one. One, two, three, four. So let's have that there. Um I think I'm actually gonna have the the common room just be like here. So you have to walk through the common room to get the cleaning closet. They won't mind that, will they? Well, I don't know, but let's find out. So door with window, white door, so we're going to have like a little restroom inside the common room. Then we can get rid of those windows. Did I get ever get rid of that window? No, you can go away. And you can have a window in... No, not there. You can actually have a window there. Let's go for a window for the cleaning closet and then some more our common room go to that one okay awesome right so that's going to be common room that's going to be a restroom and that is going to be cleaning closet so cleaning closet let's go for two shelves two bucket carts plastic hamper Let's switch that around and then let's get in some cabinets with drawers, doors, some wall mounted cabinets and then we'll get in a sink as well. That's a nice little room isn't it? Then we get in a clock, get in a notice board somewhere. Um, perfect, okay. And then I always like a black floor, I don't know why but I like a black floor in there not accessible oh, okay so it doesn't like it that's a bit annoying what about if we done ah oh, but is it only not accessible because we haven't got a door for our staff room yeah okay so now it's fine so let's get that being the common room okay so this little restroom down here I think we're just going to get in, we could get in a couple actually. So let's do like two, two WCs maybe. Get in the WC doors. 
like that. Then we can get in two sinks there. Get in some mirrors. Then we can get in some hand dryers. And then we'll get a trash bin for underneath there. Perfect. And then there we'll go for some tiles. And then common room, we'll go for some wood. We'll get a la nice laminate floor for our common room. And in here, we're going to go for dining table. Oh, I don't know. What we're we going to do? Let's have sofa looking that way. And we're going to have the TV and a bookshelf like that. Then we have the kitchen area here, I think, with a fridge, coffee machine, sink. And I'll get some wall mounted cabinets as well. Then we need some lockers. So let's get lockers maybe down there. Then we need the dining table. So let's get that out with some chairs. What else could we get? Let's get like, oh, I don't need a coffee vending machine. But let's get a normal vending machine and the water dispenser. Then maybe we get out some more cabinets. I just want one more. Oh, I was going to get one with a radio. But let's get one there and pop the radio on top there. Have we got anywhere we can put some plants? Get that. Notice board. Get some more posters. Um, like a clock somewhere. Okay, that's nice. I like that. So that is all the rooms that we need for this hospital to work. What we do need are some janitors to come out and help us keep this hospital clean. So let's, we're not going to see the hidden perks, we're just going to be a bit ruthless. Um, you're, I don't want anyone slow. Can we see some new candidates? Oh, we've only got 6,000 left. Well, let's go for one janitor at the moment, that should be fine, that should be enough. Okay, there we go guys. So let's get this wall in ready for our next doctor's office. So out to the five and down. Oh, that works out. Bloody lovely look. Then let's get out some more floor. God, we are so low on money already. We are so low on money already. Okay, so let's fast forward and hopefully see our first patient. Here we go. We have Brooke Moore. Ah, oh, I thought the cue machines. I forgot the cue machine. So let's get all that. Info TV. Let's get that there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right, Brooke Moore. She's either got metatarsal bone fracture, which she can't have because that's only available for an orthopedy department. So she must have foot contusion. So let's just make sure that she goes to her doctor and all is good and I'm right with that. Oh, we have spent a lot of money, guys. We have spent a lot of money. We're going to need these uh, these grants to come in thick and fast, really. Okay, right. So is that... Yep, yeah, okay. What's she called? Brooke? Was she called Brooke? Yeah. So that's Brooke, then. So that's our first patient, then. Oh, that must have got us about 20,000... Um, dollar grants, so that's awesome to see. In here with her boobies out, we've got Jennifer Gonzalez. She's got chronic fatigue syndrome. So like me, at least she's gonna do some exercise, Jennifer. And in this room, we've got John Wright. So we're not sure what's wrong with John. Could be lots of different things. So let's just do some physical exam. Um, could be lots of very different things. Abdominal palpitations. Oh, you got insomnia. So you need some sleeping drugs. Okay, right. So our next episode is already planned, look, guys. We need to open the radiology clinic. So that should not be a problem at all. Let's get out some flooring there. There's no clear diagnosis for Frank. Yes, hence why you need the radiology. You've got an arm contusion, though, Frank. So go and get your numbing ointment. Um, so next episode, we need to get our radiology department into our hospital. I really hope you enjoyed this episode today. I hope you agree that, you know, I'm thinking a little bit more about where we're putting rooms, trying to keep these sort of rooms like out of the way. So I really hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. 
please tune in next time for our next one and please remember to comment any suggestions or feedback down below okay see you again next time see you later thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later